Hey guys, it is currently Monday, March 8th, the day after my store opened. I have so many packages to get through, it's already just about one o'clock. I spent the morning editing the store launch vlog, which was so long, and there was so much censoring I had to do, like blurring out areas and then, you know, animating the blur to follow the package. There are some clips I just straight up cut out. I'm like, I'm sick of blurring stuff. <laughs> this is why the vlog uploads are gonna be a little spotty until all the packages are done. <laughs> because I won't necessarily have time to edit all the footage because I want to get the package out as, packages out as soon as possible. So I've got my one box here. This is everything I did yesterday evening. There should be 50 packages there and I'm gonna bring them to the post office right away and I need to buy some five cent stamps and apply those five cent stamps to most of these and then leave them there. And then I gotta go to my accountant's place and pick up my like, tax package, I guess, for my corporate tax return. My accountant is literally next door. We're the only two houses on the street. <laughs> so, it's very convenient. I'm just doing the post office thing first though because people might be on their lunch breaks. So I wanna wait till it's for sure past one o'clock. a bit of a lean. Okay, I'm back now. I'm gonna make some lunch. I kinda want this. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't eaten anything yet today because I've just been go, go, going all day so far. So I ordered 200 five cent stamps, even though I didn't need that many at once, but I wanted to bring some home. So I got these and then I go to stick them on and I'm like, Wait a minute, these aren't stickers. These are the kind you have to lick and stick. And so I was like, wait, these aren't sticky? And the guy hands me a glue stick and I'm like, oh, thank you. But So I had to like take them all apart. Luckily they tear apart, you don't have to cut them. But just like crease and tear and then glue them all on with a glue stick. So I was there for a while. <laughs> I know what I'm gonna have with the soup. This has been sitting in the fridge way too long. I need to eat it before it gets gross. This is a little tray I'm bringing down to Christian. <laughs> he wanted two pieces of bread with the soup. And then I put a couple pieces of the grapefruit. He's not too keen on grapefruit, but he'll usually have a little bit. And here's mine. Yep. It's a bit of a weird combo, but it's gonna be good. Okay, I have had an outfit change because I was just getting warm. I'm about to stream because then I can just have people keeping me company while I package. So this is my little test recording. I mean, I think everything's good, but I'll package one order before I go live. I'm trying to figure out how I want this. I put some of the print materials up top here. I've been rearranging. I put the crinkle paper just underneath here, but that's where my chipboard was. So I put the chipboard up on top of this black tower, but I think it was messing with the webcam, even though it's not visible when I push it back. Like I think when I reach for it, it makes the camera focus closer to the camera and then it stays there and then I'm just all blurry. I mean, it kind of pulled, the focus kind of pulses regardless, but I just thought let's move it. So now nothing's in that space right now. I do also have room for boxes back in this corner. I should put that, um, I had a bin of, you know, <laughs> Buttons, button parts, we're making buttons back there. I moved it because I thought initially this would be diagonal and pushed back. Then I remembered it has to be sh coming straight off the desk. So I should put that back so I can put some boxes on it and actually reach them instead of them just being like <coughs> way down there, you know? You know, these foil bags don't really need to be up there either. I don't reach for them often. We'll do the drawer technique. Pull out the drawer, set them there. <laughs> My water bottle's up here too though. <laughs> I suppose I can go down here. away. She was in the hammock area of the cat tower back here. The cat tree. The 
big size is more commonly used because that's the size I need for prints. Put more glassine up there. More of the chipboard. So yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go other than bringing up some music on YouTube, but we can't have that for the vlog. So yeah, oh, and I brought down my good mic because the one I have down here sucks. Like it's okay for workout streams, which I haven't done in forever, but like it works for that because I don't want to bring this mic up and down. But someday I'll probably upgrade this microphone and then this one can stay down here and I'll have an even better one upstairs. That's kind of the, the plan anyway. The mic upstairs is really hard to unplug because it goes through a boom and the cable's all tied up and stuff, but I found a different cable that works with it. So it was actually pretty easy to transfer over here. And since I'm going to be streaming down here a lot, it was just worth it for the upgrade. So I guess let's start an order. So usually what I do for US and international is I start by importing the orders into Chit Chats, but because I'm having problems with package weights, I'm not going to do that this time. I really don't have to start doing that till I start offering the sketchbook since they have a drastically different weight. But usually what I do is I just end up overpaying for shipping and wasting my own money. <laughs> I'll assume, for example, that all US orders are 220 grams or less, and so I'll pay for postage assuming they're all 220 grams. But then if I have one that's a little heavier, I will weigh it separately. I have to like cancel it, remove it, re-import it, put in the weight, like it's a whole thing. But that's only the occasional package that's heavy. Once I start doing the sketchbooks, there's gonna be a lot of packages that are heavy, and so I can't just assume the weights anymore. I have to actually weigh them. And that's a problem because I need the weight input before I import them. So what I might do is open up, say, 10 orders, like 10 tabs, as I usually do on Shopify, package those 10, but label what order they are, and I can weigh them and write the weight on the box. And then I can go into Chit Chats and input the info for those orders, then import just those 10. Like, it's going to be a lot of extra steps, but that's why this is the test, because I don't really see any other workaround it's a pain in the booty because chit chats does import weight but it imports the individual item weight it does not import the box weight and the box is the heaviest part of it so it might be like a 130 gram box and then you have 20 grams of product it imports as 20 grams that's how i got in trouble because i was underpaying for shipping for a while and it was it's a whole thing so anyway i'm switching my method this is me trying out the new system now so let's open a few orders i'm going to open 10 tabs I mean, we're not going to know how this works till I'm done these 10. So <laughs> instead of putting the label on immediately after packaging it, I'm going to mark down what the order is. Cottage core sticker set and a button boy A grade. This will get the small box. Crinkles. Those. Thank you card and sticker. Maybe a few more crinkles on top. Why not? Cute, cute. Now focus back on me, camera. Oh, please, please, this is where it struggles. I'm over here, okay. So, seal her up. Ooh, I gotta, oh, this is not turned on. It's gotta warm up. <laughs> I wonder how long it takes to warm up. Let me see the manual. Yeah, the book says nothing about warm up time. It's like, turn on the power, then press the button. I'm like, okay. Oh, it's moist. Dude. This is not six inches. And I'll add a couple grams to account for the shipping label, I suppose. It's 96. Let's just say 100. Is this going to be a huge waste of time? I don't know. I don't know, man. Now, I don't necessarily have to weigh them each time. I could go what the order weight says, because in Shopify, it shows me the weight with the box. It's just not completely accurate because it depends which box I grab. The weight in the order is higher than 100 grams because it's assuming I'm using the biggest box size. Because it's better to overestimate the weight than underestimate. So I go with my biggest size. That gets added as the default box weight. But yeah, if I don't want to weigh them every time, I could just read it off of the order. <laughs> So anyway, I would set this aside somewhere. I don't just want to throw them into a bigger box right away because I'm going to need to like take them out and go through them. It'd be nicer to just stack them next to me. See, ideally I would stack them here on this turquoise thing, but I have a bunch of prints on there that normally aren't there. 
That's my package placing place. We stack them on the drawer. One Gregory pin. A grade. It's hideous, hideous, insidious, tedious. I probably don't need to write all four digits either. I wrote eight, five, seven, nine. I guess I write five, seven, nine. So during this webcam test, I was having issues with the video pulsing, like just focusing issues in general. Plus the quality just doesn't look as good. Like, I don't know what's wrong with my Brio webcam. It doesn't look nearly as good as all the Brio videos I've seen online. I think I got to play around with the settings some more, but I thought I would try connecting one of my nice cameras that I use upstairs, the ones I use for my art videos. The only thing is I don't have a capture card on that basement computer. So I was going to use a an Elgato cam link. And as you'll see, the footage is clearer, but the frame rate is so messed up. Like it's so choppy looking, which is weird because it's set to 60 frames a second. And so I'm not even convinced I like that more. That has, that's what I've been using since this was filmed. But now, now that I'm actually editing the footage, the frame rate is driving me nuts. So I might go back to using the webcam. I don't know. <laughs> I was just trying to give some nicer quality video, but it's just not really working for me. Totally forgot about the Elgato cam link. I have two of these. I made a special impromptu trip to the USA one day, pre-COVID, to get these because they were only available in American Best Buy stores. So I just was like, well, I'm gonna go there. Hopped in my car. But then I didn't end up using them because they weren't working well. I don't remember the whole story, but I ended up getting that internal capture card instead. But yeah, I'm finally getting use out of them. I was starting to think I would never use them. I was thinking maybe I should give them away. Now it is a little like laggy feeling, but the camera doesn't look like this on the camera. When I look at the camera screen, it's perfectly smooth. It's doing just fine. So I think this is because of the cam link. So I don't think there's a way I can fix it. I tried plugging it into the back versus the front of the computer. It made no difference. So, you know, it, we're getting what we're getting, but it's way better quality. It's probably looking really yellow because I turned this light on, but I was trying to give it more likes. I thought maybe there'd be less lag, but then I realized it wasn't the camera doing that. And that light's actually really nice, so I'm going to leave that on. Yes, Kiki, I know. I've been setting up for this stream forever. It is 5.01. And I have five pack, no, six packages done. Ugh, the first days are always the worst in terms of productivity. I mean, I'm doing stuff. I was replying to store emails, replying to YouTube comments, whatever, but still. I wasn't supposed to crack this till I was done the coffee. It's so late in the day and I haven't even finished these. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know, I just need the energy so I can go all night. I'll probably be packaging till midnight, so yeah. You come to be annoying right before I start my stream? The use, the use, the use, you know. It kind of almost does look like it could be low frame rate even though it says it's 60. <sighs> Whatever. I'll take it. So it's 11:39. I just ended my stream. I need to reply to some emails before bed. If there are any, there probably are, but um just quickly get those done. But yeah, okay, my new method, well, me attempting a new method with chit chats with me manually entering in all the weights and stuff. It was an absolute disaster and like Fiddling with a stack of even 10 boxes was a pain in the booty. There was just way too many clicks to get in and edit the weights. Like, I was so frustrated. If you're going to rewatch the stream, just skip over the first hour because it's me just complaining the entire time. <laughs> so I did my old method of just assuming packages are 220 grams. So basically everything is missing and added 130 grams to it. So if something is 90 or more, then I know it hit that threshold. Anything higher than 220 in the package is in a higher weight class. So yeah, so I can just import all the orders that are marked as less than 90 and just set their weights at 220. Even if the package is like 105 grams, I pay for a 220 gram <laughs> package. It's just so much simpler. So I don't, I really don't know what I'm going to do next time. I mean, in the future, because we're eventually moving 
out of BC. Like I could use DYK post in the future, which hopefully would make things easier based on the research I've done. <laughs> they accept third party shipping labels and then they, you just pay their fee on top of it. Whereas with Chit Chats, they no longer accept third party labels. You can only buy postage through the Chit Chats website. And that's where it complicates things because I don't get rates, shipping rates calculated at checkout and I don't get the total package, the total order weight imported either. So anyway, what I'm saying is I'm not gonna have to deal with chit chats forever. It's just for now. So yeah, but I'll see if I can figure something out for the next update. I got through 110 packages, which is okay considering how late I started. Tomorrow I might just do a few more to fill up the box a bit better and then drop it off at chit chats, then come back and package some more. So tomorrow should be a pretty good day in terms of packaging productivity. But for now, I sleep. It's the next day. I'm doing a no makeup day. I just don't wanna to waste too much time getting ready, especially since I already wasted some time sleeping in. I was just so extremely exhausted this morning. I didn't wanna sleep in as much as I did, but to be fair, I did work up until midnight last night, but still. Okay, there's one egg left. Do I do, th yeah, let's just do three. Just do three. It's the last egg. Don't want to leave it alone. Today should still be a longer packaging day than the last couple, <laughs> which is good. I just need like a nice good day where I get 200 packages done, you know? I hit 1400 packages during the stream last night. So <laughs> it's a lot. I, it's a lot. I'm also, that, that means I'm 400 stickers short for the freebie stickers. Cause I made a thousand, I wasn't sure. You know, I'd rather underestimate the stickers and overestimate because I didn't want a whole bunch of extras, but I underestimated a little too much. All right, time to dig in. <laughs> what kind of disaster room is this? So my most recent order is number 9,999. I believe my very first order was order number 1,000. So it doesn't start at zero, it starts at 1,000. The first order might've even been 1,001. I'm not sure, but it, it didn't start at zero. But that's still crazy, because that means since I opened my store, I've had 9,000 orders since it all began. That's crazy. <laughs> the maple, sunflower, and lac. Bun Boy B grade and Cottage Kitties B grade. So something I found out is that if I issued a partial refund to someone, like for everyone who ordered this print, I overcharged them at first, so I had to refund the difference. Uh, for all those orders that have that partial refund, they don't get imported into Chit Chats for some reason. So I have to manually add them, which honestly is not that bad. If it's just for a handful, well, I would say maybe about 50 orders is what it's gonna end up being in the end because I've already refunded all of them so I went through it once <laughs> before. <laughs> I'd say it's about 50. Luckily you can just hit the copy button next to the address on Shopify then just hit paste in Chit Chats and it formats the form correctly, like puts the right parts of the address in the right part of the form. So that helps a lot. <laughs> But just now I'm assembling some of those because I noticed of the batch of orders I did yesterday, some got skipped over. So I'm doing those right now. So all of these will have that sunflower <laughs> misprint in them. Now I gotta see if these are gonna auto fulfill or not. Just refresh the page. No, so I'm going to have to snag the tracking link from Chit Chats, click Marcus Fulfilled, and then paste the tracking number in here manually. <laughs> this is what I get for screwing up earlier. <laughs> Extra work. <laughs> All right, I got 14 more orders done just to fill up the box. So I got these two to bring to Chit Chats right away. <sighs> okay, it's forever later. I'm back from Chit Chats. Um, turns out my cars are convertible. It can convert itself into a swimming pool. This is the towel I used to dry out the footwell behind the driver's seat. 
huge, massive puddle of water in it. And the only reason I figured that out is because when I jumped in the car and put on my seatbelt, the seatbelt was moldy and wet. It was just covered in cir like big circles of moldy spores all over it. And I had like buckled it in by the time I noticed it. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. get it off me. My car does have a moisture problem. It always has ridiculous amounts of condensation, particularly in the winter time. Like the windshield gets huge beads of water just peppered all over it. It's not like a, the fog kind of condensation. It's like water so much that it's like dripping down onto the dash. Although today the windshield was great. It was clear, but there was a moldy, moldy seat belt and a huge puddle of water behind the seat. So it's leaking somehow. Somehow water's getting inside. I can't waste any more time on that though. I mopped up the water, wiped the mold off. It probably needs some kind of deeper clean slash disinfecting. I, I, didn't, I don't know. I mean, my car in general needs a deep clean. I need to vacuum it out, but that'll have to wait till after the store update. I've started wrapping some of the washi tape orders in these sleeves. I just have so many of them left that I need to use up. So I'm like, why not wrap some of them? Especially if there's like a decent amount. I mean, there were some that I wrapped that only had two washi tapes. <laughs> yeah, just look how good they look in there. You just sit nice and flat. It's a perfect fit. So cute. Clean that up too. I've been making decent progress. I'll probably just check in with you at the end of the night to give my tally update. So it's the end of the night. I got my orders done. I have this box here, this big box here, <laughs> and that one. So lots and lots. 200. To be precise. That is it for this vlog. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Printer was here last time, but Rick is there now. It's really tricky trying to figure out how to have everything within reach. And it's 1207 with 294 orders. 296! Oh my god. Let's see what's sold out already. Beautiful nightmare. There were like five in stock. So that's gone. But